If you play Geometry Dash, you use an icon. Whether your best accomplishment is Dry Out or the Golden, you use a handful of the many unique icons in the game. And there's so many to choose from! You have Square, Circle, Vague, Triangle Shape... Wow! So in this episode of Icon Stereotypes, I'm going to go through each and every icon in Geometry Dash and generalize the people who use them! Let's get into it. You're pretty basic. You bought the game five minutes ago. You watch Partition. You bought the game five minutes ago, but you think the other one looks weird. You are proud of yourself for beating Stereo Madness. You like memes. You like jump orbs. You like proving yourself. You are an epic hacker. You think this is the coolest icon. You are also an epic hacker. You like things simpler. You hate mirror portals. You haven't been playing the game long. You have used this icon for a long time, and you figured you'd stick with it. You think you're cooler than people who beat cycles in practice mode. You want the godlike icon, but you're lazy. You are extremely proud of yourself. Still proud, but you think the, this icon looks cooler. You've used every demon icon so far. You like this decoration piece. You like Among Us. You like duality and squares. You are bald. You are pretty noisy with others. You use the daily chat a lot. You like EVW. You are indecisive. You aren't very original and you probably use green or purple as colors. Or both. You wish every game mode was ball. You are probably quite boring. You know true pain. You couldn't decide between the last three. You use this icon 1.9 was your favorite update. You are a gamer. You are quite dedicated at things that you do. You probably played the map packs. You are bored easily or your favorite word is woe. You play the daily levels. You say pog a little too often in real life. You love Minecraft. I am sorry for your loss. You have good oral hygiene. You like flexing. You also like flexing. You have an epic gamer PC. You like Steam or Technical. You probably main Mario and Smash. You are a memer. You either really like Shy Guys or you just learned about the vault. Honestly, could be either one. You hated Endgame. You've been around a while. I have literally never ever seen someone use this cube before. So if you use this cube, let me know in the comments. What are you like? I need to know. You aren't great at math. You like Fortnite and hate bat map packs. You are Batman. Again, just, I'm so sorry. You must really have patience and durability. You have Carpal Tunnel. You love punctuation. You play this game a lot. You think comedy peaked in 2015. You really like flexing. You're a bit self-centered. These are all the meltdown icons, so you're either a mobile player or a hacker. You are good with money. You like watching YouTube and you probably experienced the horrendous, awful wait for 2.1 in 2.0. You like early 2.1 levels. You can count. You wanted a different icon from your old one, so you changed it to this one. You are also an epic hacker. You like shopping, but definitely do not have a job. You appreciate cartoons and animation. You watched Nickelodeon as a child. You're pretty dedicated to this game. You want a Gucci bag. Your favorite season is winter. You are pretty direct. You call parallelograms diamonds. You also call parallelograms diamonds. You like pain. You're a deep thinker and or a good artist. Modern is your favorite level genre. You fall for clickbait videos literally every time. You prefer dark colors. You like smaller icons. You like sour foods. You have stuck with this icon since 2.1 came out. You like fire. You strive to be a better player. You are a pretty soft person. You are tired of overused jokes. You are nice and also a daily chatter. You are extremely dedicated. You think 1-2 oatmeal is the funniest thing ever made. Or you, all, you could also just like Kirby. You thought this icon fit your crackhead personality. You are an actual crackhead. You like creator points. You like the middle hue of your two colors just as much as you like your normal two colors. Or you like zombies. You are edgy or play a lot of Xbox. 
you live on the internet. Your favorite animated cartoon is Pac-Man and the Ghostly Adventures. What did you think I was going to say? You are an air conditioning unit. You are more of a creator than a player. You definitely don't use Facebook. You beat all of the easy gauntlets. You love memes, and you comment on a lot of levels. You are a well-rounded person, if not a little on the crazy side. You consider yourself a professional player. You are quirky and also use daily chat. You know how to budget efficiently, and you really like color theory. You definitely only use this icon because you think the eyes look cool. You hate anything that does not have a smooth edge. Your favorite creator is Equinox. You see potential in yourself. You're trash at creating. And this isn't a call out, I swear. You are the coolest person ever. Your favorite genre of art is steampunk. You like completing things. You have a sharp mind. <laughs> and also probably make decent levels. You are more sophisticated than you appear in game. You are either quiet or extremely loud. There is no in between. You like compasses. You hate daily chat, but use it nonetheless. You're a pretty average person, chats, creates, has a few demons, just like an all-around Geometry Dash player who you'd see on Geometry Dash. You like Pokemon and think that this is the best icon because Robtop handpicked it in the first icon contest. You look at your icon when you play. You have 100% beaten motion by Tamon. Terran is your favorite creator. You love skeletons. You have also been around a while. You are impatient. You are simplistic and think this one suits you. You are a fan of optical illusions. You are quick. You have a bit of a bleak outlook on life or you like art. These are all of the, uh, the Sub-Zero icons. So if you use these, you cannot wait for 2.2. All right, and that wraps up episode one of Icon Stereotypes. Let me know in the comments if any of these Epic Gamer stereotypes apply to you. In the next episode, I'm going to go through all of the ships and the next one after that, the balls and so on and so forth. So look forward to those. Also, please like and share this video if you liked it, but particularly because now I have 148 images of Geometry Dash squares on my computer, all of which I had to download individually, so you gotta at least leave a like for that. Or you could literally not do that. The choice is yours. And with that being said...